as you can see I have a full table today because I'm making something not complicated but time taking at the end it's gonna be well worth it it's honey cake with caramel buttercream and caramel glaze so we're going to start by making the glaze just because it has it needs quite a long time to get um, cool down so that's why we're starting with uh, caramel glaze and for that I need unflavored gelatin mixed with some water I'm going just to quickly mix this and set aside and when making caramels in general or any candy time is kind of crucial so you better have all your yeah candy you better have all your ingredients ready standby so I'm going to mix it and set aside and I also need some cornstarch or potato starch doesn't really matter mixed with some water I forgot to add the, about two teaspoonful or so and again I'm gonna mix this and set aside as well we're gonna use it later on and of course it's a caramel it has to have the sugar and water mixture together and I have sugar water <laughs> lots of different water jars today okay so the water will go in there and I like adding corn syrup to my caramel which is not a required ingredient but it's just dun, dun. Uh, better uh, te texture and better flavor for uh, caramel and this has to cook about I, I'm not sure how long but this is something you wanna I can't stop. this is something you wanna watch you don't wanna burn your caramel or, or else it will turn very uh, bitter so I'm going to give it a quick mix place this on the oven to cook and I'm going to start watching it all right come to this side and you're going to cook this into high to medium heat and you don't have to stir it the whole time just at the beginning a few minutes and then once it starts to boil we're going to cover it um, in because we need to wash out the sides those sugar crystals from the side it needs to go down so we don't have those crystals in our channel so this will take a couple of minutes um, so we'll get back as this started boiling I covered it with the lid so uh, the sides will wash off the crystals from the sides and I'm going to cook this open now as long as it turns dark amber color I'm going to turn off the oven so I'll see you in a bit as this start turning into dark amber color you're going to take up from the heat and pour very hot cream and the reason of pouring the cream in hot temperature so you doesn't don't get too much splashing so I'm adding the cream and mixing of course a pinch of salt and that remember that cornstarch with water and that mixture goes in there and turn off the oven just a quick mix just to bring everything together quickly probably one to two minutes or not even two minutes so this looks ready and turn the gelatin goes the last and it's still boiling and yeah I forgot to mention we also need some butter and butter can be cold or room temperature doesn't really matter if it's cold it's even better because it will bring the temperature down for caramel so butter goes in there quick mix and the gelatin will go the last and this will need to be strained in order strength in order <laughs> to have no lumps when pouring on your cake so this will go for some rest and we're gonna start making the cake in one second don't go I'm going to strain it just a quick mix to melt that butter and gelatin Mm, this should be ready okay wait one 
one second. So I didn't get to finish the video the other day. I made the caramel and it was getting dark and I really like the daylight better when making videos. So I just covered with plastic, let it sit in the fridge two days. Okay, so we're continuing and finishing the cake today. We need eggs, four eggs room temperature. And we need to beat those eggs until fluffy without any sugar, by the way. Okay. This is going to mix about one to two minutes on high speed until it's all fluffy. This is ready. So we're going to lower the speed and I normally when already done whisking something and I need this fluffy consistency, I always use my whisk attachment and then, oops, and then, and then I switch to um, paddle attachment. One second. Yeah, I dropped it. So I switched to this and on low speed I'm going to beat in my vegetable oil, and honey and vanilla extract. And you can add everything immediately. Okay, those things always happen in kitchen, so you know. And I have three tablespoons of honey, room temperature, not melted or not too cold. And of course vanilla will go in there. And while it's whisking, I mean it's me mixing, I'm going to sift my flour, almond meal, and uh, what else? And um, sugar, powdered sugar. And I'm going to add that slowly to my uh, to my egg mixture. So I've got my flour. And remember the measurements, the uh, recipe is always on my website. My uh, almond meal, and it's better to sift everything together, that way they all incorporate very quickly uh, and much better, bless you. Okay, and I'll sift in uh, the sugar in a bit, it's small sifter, I should have gotten a bigger one. And of course baking powder. Two teaspoon. Okay. And I'll add the sh powdered sugar and I'm going to add this slowly. So at this point you can start preheating the oven to 350 degrees. And I already prepared my um, three baking pans, round shape. Um, we're going to Three layers, of course. I have three of them. I was thinking about something and I forgot what was what was that. Okay, I'll remember. So I'm adding this slowly until all mixed and done. Please remember to stop and scrape. I forgot to mention, and I always do mention that. So this is this is ready. We can start dividing this into three portions as equal as you possibly can and I'm going to spread those the cake on my parchment paper or wax paper doesn't really matter this is very sticky so you better remember to bake this on something on a, some kind of baking paper so I'll just and you're going to spread this into about 9 inches diameter circle shape and it's much easier if you kind of turn and then spread this is a, a little bit sticky dough and it's not very easy to just spread it out so you're going to kind of uh, turn the pan and try to spread it evenly. So this is ready and I'm going to bake this about 12 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden on the, uh, on the edges. Yeah, yeah, mom. yeah, thank you. 
Buttercream for this cake is pretty basic caramel buttercream. I call this Armenian style butter caramel cream. So, which means it's got only butter and caramel. And I made my own caramel. I just boiled the regular condensed Mom. milk uh, Mom. about three Mom. hours. You can Mom. also buy du Dulce de Leche Mom. from store if you prefer. Mom. Okay, and I'm going to beat the butter Mom. until it's fluffy and start Mom. adding caramel a little bit Mom. at a time. What? Mom. What? Cake. Yeah, you need to wait, it's still hot. While the cream is still mixing, I'm going to kind of even up my layers. And I have 8 inches uh, cake uh, bottom <laughs> tray. So I'm just going to um, smooth nicely and smoothly even it up. And also I started melting my caramel because it was sitting in fridge so I poured some hot water in a bowl and just place it in there it's already getting nice and warm so that's that cream is ready the layers are nicely uh, cooled down and um, ready to be frosted and I'm going that same um, Actually, this is 8 inch, yeah, 8 inch plate <laughs> to place the cake in. And I would suggest to save the one that has more even ba um, flat bottom for the last layer. So you have more even cake. But of course we can uh, adjust that with frosting as well. So I'm going to start frosting generously. We, we have enough frosting for all three layers. I'm almost done with spreading this cream and as evenly as possible, both top and sides. So I'm using this one to make it more even and I'm going to place this in the fridge, in the freezer actually, so it <laughs> chills down pretty quickly. Um, probably 10 to 15 minutes before I pour the caramel because when the cake, the frosting is cool, cold, uh, caram caramel will stick much better. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Be sure to place the cake on a cookie rack because we're going to pour the caramel over the cake. And on the cookie um, rack, eh? Yes, on the cookie rack. And we want to have really thick caramel on top of the cake. That's why we're going to do something. Uh, I don't know if professionals normally do this, but I, I'm, I, I think I can reuse whatever is left over for second layer. So I'm going to gently making? cover this first what layer. Po put the cake, it's a cake Arka, it's caramel honey cake. And I'm going to place the cake in the fridge about 5 to 10 minutes and then take it out and pour another layer of caramel on top of that first layer. So that's my <laughs> trick. I'll just let this sit two minutes so the entire caramel pours out. This will be the recycled caramel. So I, I just poured it back into my bowl and I'm going to pour this one more time, spread it evenly and I think we should be done with this cake. This may take a while, but it's such a delicious, such a flavorful cake. And this is, by the way, my own recipe. I would appreciate if you guys try and let me uh, know how it turned out. So we should be done pretty quickly. And you can either leave the cake just like this without any decoration because this looks already very original to my uh, opinion or I I'm going just to simply decorate this with some uh, slivered almonds and a slice of honeycomb in the center but again this is nothing uh, necessary if you don't want to okay this should be good and this may go to fridge for another five to ten minutes after I 
decorated after I cover the sides. Not sure if this is perfectly looking, um, fancy looking cake, but it's certainly very delicious. I will leave detailed recipe link below the video. Check it out, questions, comments, you know where to find me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.